Hey, what's up? This is the video of the toy, the Florida toy. All my parts combined into this one movie, which I call the Florida toy. So if you're gonna watch this, just letting you know, just letting you know, um, definitely first sit down with you and your partner or your friend or whoever, right? Your family, your auntie, your mom. Anyways, sit down, you know, relax, you know. It's gonna be a good minute though, because with this, you're gonna find out how was my experience driving from point to point to point to point to point to point in the Florida tour. All right, guys, and Alvaro, if you're watching this, you're a cool guy, man. Good job. Yeah, you too. My first stop, I was thinking about going to Barrow Beach first, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go to Lake Okeechobee. Since it's a Florida tour, we wanna know all about Florida, right? So let's first go to Lake Okeechobee and see what it is. I was gonna go to Vero Beach to my friend's house, Amilcar. Okeechobee Lake is kinda like in the way of Vero Beach. Therefore, I'm gonna go to Okeechobee Lake. When I got to Okeechobee Lake, I got there and I was like, that's it. Um, so as you guys can see, this is Lake Okeechobee. You literally cannot see where the end is on this lake. I'm zooming in as much as I can. I've never been to this place and if I'm doing this tour alone, it just means that I have no restrictions on what I want to do. Now I'm going to be going to Barrow Beach, uh, to my friend's house. Alright guys, so we're driving right now. I'm trying to find my friend and see where he is. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, the boy was so... Hey, then... <laughs> How you doing? Oh my god, look at the house. What the hell? An RV. Sorry for the country music. Is that, that's the radio. Dude, I, w I wanted to ask you, man. Alright? Now that I'm here and shit, is it okay if I if I could interview you? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, let me interview you. Like, I'm asking some questions about like my YouTube shit. You know. Hi guys, what's up, guys? So we're here today. Wait, what's your name? <laughs> I want you to be hundred percent honest. Don't lie to me. Don't try to be just to be nice and shit. I want you to be hundred percent honest, right? All right. What's your opinion about my tour? Me that I'm have to travel that I'm doing this whole tour financed by me because obviously it's coming out of me right without even knowing what's gonna happen without even having a super big ass channel honestly what do you think I honestly think that you're taking that step that not everyone takes like you're not just doing it because of the money I feel like you love doing it you're going the right way and if you keep going this way then you might go big, you know. What's up, guys? So, we are leaving Barrow Beach now because today is interview day, meaning that we're gonna go to UCF and today we're gonna interview. And now, who's gonna help me interview? You guys might be asking. Well, honestly, I don't know. I have no clue. As of right now, the only thing that's gonna help me interview is the tripod. Guys, always drink water, all right? My friend goalkeeper Danny says it, and I agree with it. Stay hydrated. This what you all been waiting for, ain't it? What people paid paper for, damn it. This that going to the gun range with the click cat. Aiming that boy from PG, but DC still claim him. And I ain't gotta act like I'm from there. I'm real. All right, guys, so I just reached UCF right now. And today, we're gonna go interview. Now, who's helping me interview? I don't know. No one's helping me. So I'm just gonna go and try to do my best when it comes to interviewing. And hopefully, we get some people, you know? Awesome. I'm kind of scared though because I'm doing it alone, but fuck it, you know, nobody wanted to come with me, so. Is that Alvaro? 
Oh my. So literally I was walking, just how I am right now. And then from out of nowhere, my friend comes. I actually haven't seen her in like two years. It was pretty cool, you know, catching up with her and shit, you know. Then later on she had to go because she had to do her little homework or whatever. And me, I had to interview. What's up guys, it's me, Alvaro here today at UCF. You guys can see, beautiful building, student union. And today we're gonna ask college students, how many sex partners is too much? All right, let's get it. All right, man, so basically I go around different colleges, I interview people and stuff. About you know? dating? About, not about dating, but about entertainment, dating, funny stuff, you know? Yeah. Today's question is, how many sex partners is too many? <laughs> um, for men and women, or just? For women. For women? For women. How old are you? Any age, in general. Any age. Yeah. As an adult, <laughs> I'm one over, of those people. Over two? Two. <laughs> I think like 15. 15 is too much? I don't know, it depends how old you are. Yeah. What about? Because like, if you're like, just turned 18 and you've already like had like 15 sex partners it's kind of like is it a turn on or a turn off it's kind of a turn off because like really? you don't know what they have you say too <laughs> yeah like okay. there's, I, I say that because i learned in one of my classes that florida is actually um one of the highest states in hiv so you don't want to be going around with people and uh yeah. you don't know what's happening yeah. you don't want to get you can get very sick so yeah that's why i say that what would be the maximum you would tolerate Max, wouldn't tolerate. Maxim, I would, like, if someone, if a guy came up to me and, like, confessed that he had slept with more than, like, 25 to 30 girls, I would, Damn. like, oh, uh, I may say no just because, like. Just because of that? Well, I hope their personality is nice, too. Not protecting yourself, you need to keep it under 50. If you're not using protection, yeah. keep it under 50? Yes. Okay. If you well, to me, I'm an abstinence before marriage guy. Abstinence before marriage? Yeah, that's me personally. And are you still... Yes. That's dedication, man. And I, I respect that, bro. And your wife, or let's say your future wife, mm -hmm. do you think she has abstinence before marriage? I would like it, but, you know, If she people, doesn't... It's not necessarily something I'm going to hold against her or anything yeah. like that. How old are you? I'm uh, 22. 22? Yeah. All right, guys, here in UCF, you always find people. No music, ain't no music. Huh. I say that nigga don't do shit. Okay. Days on the seas, no blueprint. I need it first to choose it. Uh, flight on the game, I can never do it. Difference, running on the mission. Thinking they gon' talk about the money, ain't no pension. Instant, thinking they ain't that oh, yeah. instant. Oh, true, it flows like I changed up my instinct. Uh, hey. I been on fit in my all day. I get my money up all day. They gonna talk about driving the game, and y'all been on red carpets like Broadway. One question I wanted to ask you about the school is, what do you like about UCF? Uh, UCF is massive. One thing I do really like about UCF is like this rap cipher that we have every Tuesday. Whoa, um, wait, every every Tuesday you guys have a rap, rap cipher like that? Yeah, I wish I had to stop in. There's just so much going on all over campus all the time. What do you not like about the school? Anything you don't like about it? Or what do you think is perfect? There could be more skate spots on campus. <laughs> more skate spots? More street skate spots, yeah. you know. There's a few good ones, but that's about yeah. it. Like, I, there's... I can't think of it. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hi. Let me get your number before I never see you again, real <laughs> quick. Okay, anyway, yeah, it's cool stuff, man. Yeah. Um, cool, dude. All right, man. But wait, that's not the... That's not it. Yeah, oh, that's not oh, it. Oh, man. All right, so I go around different colleges. I interview people, all right? <laughs> so basically, today's question is, how many sex partners is too much? That's the question today. Man. What do you... What it's do you too think? much? Yeah, too much. I mean, I, I mean, let's say on a partner, let's say you want to talk to, let's say a girl, how many would be too many would for Would be too many for her, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, because like, yeah. I, I, oh man, that's a tough one. One thing that I find really appealing about this uh, campus here at UCF is that this whole thing is beautiful. Like this is, they call it the memory mall or something like that. And it's like this big place, like a soccer field, and it's like people are just like playing and stuff and like walking around. So let's interview. How many sex partners is too much? How many sex partners is too much? Yes. I feel like that's a subjective question because somebody could say five is too many, some people could say 50 is not 
much, not anything. Yeah. Um, am I allowed to cuss? Okay, because I know like YouTube monetization and stuff. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. What do you like about UCF? About UCF? Yeah. What do you like about school? Um. It's not UF. How about that? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Me personally, yeah. I applied to UCF yeah. and UF. Oof. They both accepted me. Oh I'm wow. Go I'm going to UF. Yeah. So that so that by saying it's not UF is like hurts my feeling, you know? I'm sorry. I'm like sorry. how many sex partners would you be, to be not honest, okay with? To be honest, that's not a deal breaker for me. Okay, what do you guys not like about the school? How big it is. How yeah. How, how big it is? What? Because it's like it's just like <gasps> Did you camera it's just a big campus. Yeah. I don't my camera ran out of battery in the middle of the interview. So me personally, I call that a day. That's it. That's a day, you know? So yeah guys, please subscribe, watch, comment, like my interviews in UCF. I got some pretty good footage, I believe. So my next stop is gonna be UF. So yeah guys, subscribe, like, comment. In the middle of me going from Orlando to Gainesville, I stopped at a rest place, right? I was getting a little bit tired, you know? It was a long day of interviews and shit, you know? And then I noticed that it was colder, you know? At least me, that I'm from Miami, like, you definitely feel a difference. I'm on Gainesville, guys. And it looks pretty dope. So, guys, so... I was not expecting to interview today, but it said on the weather that it was gonna rain tomorrow. So that means that if I'm staying today in Gainesville and I'm also staying tomorrow in Gainesville, but tomorrow's gonna rain, then I must film today. I have no option. Hey guys, what's up guys? It's me, Oliver, we're here today at UF. Today we're gonna be interviewing people, we're gonna ask them, how do you make college friends here at UF or at a college? How do you make college friends? Hey guys, what's up guys? It's me, Oliver, over here today with my very, very, very good friend. What's your name, bro? Uh, CJ. Pilar. Derek. Derek. So, what do you guys like about the school, UF? <laughs> um, there's a lot of opportunity. Um, everyone's very intelligent and driven and passionate about their interests and... You think people are attractive here or no? <laughs> they're attractive? Um, they're all right. Today's question is, how do you make uh, college friends here at UF? Uh, it would usually be through the organizations and just in class where you're... Usually the easiest thing to do is ask what's going on, even though if you know it or don't know it, just ask what's going on and then you'll end up talking to people through that. Have you ever tried approaching people like out of the blue and be like, hey, you want to be my friend? Hey, hello. Hi. Um, would you guys uh, consider being my friends or... I'm new, like I don't have any friends. Uh, are you Hispanic? <laughs> yes, I am Hispanic. Oh, nice to you. Have you been to... Um, that's no, like I want to be friends with you guys. I don't know if I, I could be part of like your group. Um, or... We don't really have yeah. a group. I mean, you could definitely check out, what is it, like us to But like, what, well, can I be your friends? Like your friends? Specifically or no? Um, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Um, for all the, uh, I guess, the people that are applying here and are gonna get transferred here mm -hmm. on spring, like me, um, what would be a way for them to make college friends? Um, to get involved, to go out, like you meet yeah. so many people everywhere, to go to the library, don't just sit in your room. Where are some good places to go out? Um, that you could recommend? I mean, I worked at Swamp for a year and you can get in there at 18. So that's a good place what to get for freshmen. Swamp, it's like right there, oh, right across the street. And what from. is that, like a bar? Or it's a bar and a restaurant. Bar and a restaurant, okay. Do a lot of people go there? Or? Yeah, it's been there for like 20 years. Okay. But if you're 21, Fats. Fats? Yeah, it's right across the street. Right Fat Daddies. Yeah. Fat Daddies? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Meet up with random people and just say hi to people, see what they're see what they're studying, see what they're doing and Hi. Hi. 
Would you like to be my friend? What's his name? No, like I just saw you and I saw you like you could be like a potential friend of mine, you know? Thank you. What's your name? Olivia. Oh, bro, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I know this is kind of awkward, but... Yeah. I just want to make friends, you know? I'm new okay. here, you know? I don't have any friends. I'm okay. kind of like a loner and stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can we be friends, you think? Sure. Yeah? For sure. And what do you not like about UF? Anything you don't like about the school? Uh, there's so many layers sometimes you have to get through just to get some answers that sometimes is frustrating. How is the meal plan? Is it worth it or no? I think it is. For, for freshman year, definitely. All right, Elizabeth, right? Yes. Anything you want to say to my subscribers watching this video right now? Go Gators! Go Gators! All right. So, yeah, there's a camera over there. Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. All right. no, is it okay little... if I can have you in the video? That's fine. Yeah. Is That's there fine. A, a microphone? Yeah. Are you recording? One here and one here. That's what that is? Yeah. I thought that was your club. Give me a flyer for yeah. your club. I don't know what it yeah. was. I want to give a quick shout out to CJ because he helped me film at UF. Obviously, I don't know people here, but it's good to meet people like that, honestly. So yeah guys, so today I'm gonna go to UF because if you didn't know, I'm transferring here in spring. So today's a, gonna be a really productive day, I believe. I've also been getting this request. People have been asking me who am I staying with in Gainesville? Oh buddy, we're gonna find out today. What's up guys? So we're here today in Gainesville. I'm staying with my cousin. I just want to say thank you for letting me stay in your house. I want you to be completely honest with me, right? So you know that I'm, I'm doing this tour, right? Where like I'm going to like all the colleges and stuff, Okay. right? I want you to be 100% honest, okay, about this question, right? Uh -huh. What is your opinion about my tour, knowing that I'm financing it by myself like i'm paying for everything <laughs> i might not even get that much views like i'm just doing it alone like what's your opinion about that um i think it's very um i don't know like brave to live by yourself without your mom's support or your brother's support and pay for everything i think it's a good thing that you're like motivated with your um tour Cause honestly, I wouldn't do it. Like, I would just stay home. You know, yeah. I, I would do a fucking tour. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also think it's a pain in the ass, like driving like so far. Another thing that I really noticed in Gainesville was that everything was so cheap. So when we went out in Gainesville. Everything was so cheap, it was crazy, honestly, you know, like, usually what they charge you, like, $6 for, like, a drink, in Gainesville was $2. That's definitely a big improvement, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, here's a little visual, just so you can see how the clubs are and how the club scene is. Hi guys, so I'm going to Gainesville. I mean, I'm going. To, I'm going. I'm going to Italy now. Hi guys, so we just reached Tally right now. As you guys can see, the weather is beautiful. It's not. I guess today I'm just gonna walk around. Maybe we interview. Who the fuck knows, honestly. You guys see me with the jacket? It's not fucking snowing or some shit like that, you know, but it's definitely colder. How do you get invited to college parties? That's the main question today. What's 
up guys it's me Alvaro we're here today at FSU today we're gonna be interviewing people we're gonna ask them how do you get invited to college parties uh, originally from New Jersey but I came here to FSU back in 2014 back in 2014 and how do you like FSU I loved it it's a great great school great campus so far so good I just transferred like two months ago and I love it actually yeah from, from what school did you come from before? Uh, Broward College. And how was Broward College compared to FSU? I think I like FSU more. Is it a lot more or just a little bit? Mm, a lot more. A lot more? Yeah. Okay. What do you not like about the school or the state? I don't like all the attention on the Greek life and the, the idea of, you know, partying all day or yeah. partying on a every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday kind of thing. Well, people do that here, right? People, people do it here, and they do it the rest of their lives. You know, they, I don't know, they get, they train themselves to have this kind of mindset. That's, exactly. You know, they pay thousands of dollars to come party. It's crazy. Um, I'm from Miami, so like this weather for me is like cold. <laughs> Knowing that FSU is the biggest party school in the state. How do you get invited to college parties? That's the main question today. Okay, so it's actually not as hard as you think. Um, personally, I think it's easiest if you know a lot of upperclassmen, so mm -hmm. that way you can kind of like get in touch with them because they often have a lot of parties. But you can also find some online, and like there will be flyers around campus. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I want like good parties. I don't want like ratchet parties. Okay, good parties. Um, yeah, that's when you need like Cause, upperclassmen. Cause, yeah, because I'm pretty sure like if they be like, oh, there's a party there, you know. Like, They're a little sketchy. Yeah. yeah, I've been to a couple. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think it all starts with a pregame. You know, you go to a pregame and you yeah. don't know where you're going to end up and, uh, you know, it goes from there, wherever the night takes you. It's tough to be invited, like, I don't know. Was, honestly, it, tough? was it tough for you in the beginning? In the beginning, or? yeah, because it was like, you know, you, you, at first you kind of feel like, should I even be going to this party? Like, is, am I going to get kicked out almost? Yeah, yeah. But I, once you get there, you meet people, right, exactly. and now, you know, you get some Snapchat, and then, then there's another party, they hit you up. So That's the best way to do it, is that as soon as you show up, just start talking to people, and then that way, like, if something does happen, and they, like, try to kick you out, you just be like, oh, I know so-and-so over there, and they'll be like, yeah, 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 you know, he's cool. So, I mean, getting invited, the biggest thing is just, just make more friends, just hang out with more different friends. people, and eventually you'll find someone that, like, know, that has, like, a hookup, so you'll be fine. Yeah, that's the main question. Um, honestly, like... If you're a guy. Oh, if you're a guy. If you're a girl, oh, it's easy, you know, boobs, you know? If you're a girl, uh, oh my gosh. No, I feel like if, um, I don't know. I feel like if you're a girl, it's just a lot easier to, I don't know, just, like, be social and, like, not really care. Um, like, I literally, I'll make best friends with a girl, like, in the bathroom, like, a, like, like yeah. between classes, and yeah. then all of a sudden I'm at her house, like, the next day. Yeah. So, I don't know, girls are funny like that, but... Honestly, I don't know. How do you get invited to college parties? I mean, if you're in Greek life, if you're a guy, um, if you're in Greek life, that's really like the number one way to. Because I know that if you aren't in Greek life and you try to go to like a frat party or whatever, it's in your guy, it's very difficult. But like going out to the club, there's like set days to go out to certain clubs here at FSU. So, I mean, it's really, you don't really have to get invited to go out to the club. You can just come and have a great time. And, yeah, of course. What I like about FSU is like every single day there's something going on. Do you know what I mean? All right, Julie, anything you want to say to my subscribers watching this um, video right now? Subs. Um, yeah. What do you want to say to my subs? <laughs> um, stick around, turn on your notifications, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, like and comment. Um, you know, leave new ideas down below. That's what I got to say. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> you did it better than me. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick no. shout out to Tamiya nope. for helping me and letting me stay here. Tamiya, what, anything you want to say to my subscribers? No, you're great. I can't waste my time here anymore. I gotta go to Tampa because today we're going to interview him. Alright guys, so I got to Tampa, finally. I know no one though. Literally, I know no one in this city. However, I'm gonna stay with this girl, which I just met online through Craigslist. No, you guys might be asking yourself, how did you meet this girl? So guys, so there's this app called Couchsurfing. Uh, it's basically an app where you can request people to stay in their houses, even if you do not know them. And it's a way to meet people. And if you're traveling, travel like a local. Alright guys, so if you guys didn't know, my tour ends this Wednesday, right? Today is Monday, I just got to Tampa, it is 5pm right now, 
that it's too fucking late for me to interview at USF. So we lost the day. And guys, I just wanna, I, would, I just wanna thank you so much for letting me stay here, you know. Okay. And not for like, I mean, from home. All right, guys. So I'm leaving her house now. Um, I did this poll. If you guys don't know, um, I did this poll where I asked, since today is my last day of the tour, whether I should interview at FGCU or I should interview at USF. And the response was pretty, pretty obvious. And I'm already in Tampa, like I have to interview. Hey guys, what's up guys? It's me, Alvaro, here today with my very, very good friend. What's your name? Hi right, guys, so why? Why are we getting sad? Why? Let's not get sad about it. Let's get happy about it. So change the music. Hey guys, what's up guys? It's me, Alvaro, here today with my very, very, very good friend. What's your name, bro? Luis Medina. Luis Medina and? Salvador Gil. And Salvador Gil. All right. Did I say that right? What do you like about USF? Uh, oh. Well, you mean academically or the life? The life. I think it's really pretty. It's a really nice campus. Well, I just came back from the gym, so I can do lots of stuff. Yeah, I really like that. And what do you not like about the school, USF? Say the frats. The frats? Yeah, like why? The why the frats? frats? Frat parties. Frat parties? You don't like frat parties? They're hard. Like they're hard to get. In. Yeah, for a, for a guy, for some reason at this school. Yeah, I feel you. I'm like I never, I've never seen it in any other school, but this school doesn't like guys in the frat parties for some reason. You're not in a frat. I'm not. No. Probably, like probably that's why. So I'm a YouTuber. I basically go around different colleges and like I interview people and stuff. So the main question of today is: Would you ever consider dating someone younger than you? Um, it depends on like their maturity and like if they're of age. Um, how old are you? I'm 18. 18. Would you ever consider dating someone that's 16? Uh, probably not, just because of legality issues. Well, it's, it's legal. Yeah, but. Sometimes people lie and they're not quite 16. What if you, what if you know 100% they're 16? They're 100% 16. Um, and you feel attracted to them, would you or not? Um, if it works out, then yeah, like, what's your problem with it? I'm 18. 18, okay. Would you ever consider dating someone that's 16? No. At all? No. Really? No. I Why? Do, I I'm not messing with high schoolers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe if I'm like, you know, in my 20s and someone's a couple years younger than me, that's fine. But if I'm like, at college, I don't need to date someone. I mean, if I'm like, when you're in college, it's kind of different. Like, if I dated like a junior, I feel like that'd be fine. But I wouldn't date a high schooler. I'm usually asking girls, but I'm a reverse now, right? So, would you ever consider dating someone older than you? Like a girl older than you? Consider or not? Yeah, I'll consider it. It depends on the age. It can't be like 20 years old. How old are you? I'm 17. 17. Would you ever consider dating someone that's 30? 30? Nope. No? Mm -mm. What if she's like a male fan? She's super fine. Huh? She's 30. Still no or no? Damn, bro. Is she fine? That's a different question. Um, I actually had a boyfriend who was a year younger than me. Oh, so. so yeah. Already, like, like, as long as it's not too much younger than me. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 20. You're 20? Would you ever consider dating someone that's 17? 16? Nah. Not no? 17. Not 17? No. But I'll, what if you're like super attracted to them and like. Under 18 now. Uh, well, why, why do you think it's like that? Why do you think like girls don't like younger guys and like, stuff like that? It's not like that. It's just that like I'm 19, so five years is f the guy would be 14. Oh no, yeah, of course. But <laughs> okay, let, let, let's say you were 30. Would you go out with someone that's 25? Yeah, yeah, then yeah. Guys, well, that's it. That's it for the video. Guys, anything you guys want to say to my subscribers watching this shit right now? Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Uh, give me a like. Give card getaway. Getaway. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing a giveaway. Yeah, <laughs> giveaway of a hundred dollars if you uh, share it, like, comment, and I'll pick the winner. Here on my YouTube channel, we appreciate your opinion. And yes, that's it. Anything you want to say to my subscribers watching this, watching this shit right now? Um, like this video. You need likes, right? Yeah. Like and comment.
comment on this video. Are you a YouTuber? All right, guys. So I'm leaving F USF right now. Um, I'm sorry if you expected me to go to FGCU. I'm honestly very sorry. Um, it wasn't how it was supposed to be. I also wanted to go to FGCU, but since today is a Tuesday and tomorrow I have to be back at work, I need to get back home. I need to get back to Miami. Hey guys, what's up guys? It's me, Alvaro X9. First of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, honestly, for watching my tour. Uh, if you made it this far, I just want to say thank you, honestly. Um, I did put my best in this tour. I did it alone. In my opinion, at least in my eyes, something beautiful came out of it. Anyways, I don't want to be cheesy. What I do want to say is that thank you, honestly. Thank you for watching my tour. Thank you for 2K subscribers. Uh, as of right now, right now, right now, right now, first I am back home, obviously now, and I made it. I did my whole tour, and you guys might be asking yourselves, why am I wearing this? The reality is that if you guys didn't know, I used to work at the bank. I used to work at Wells Fargo. Um, well, fortunately, I will not be working there anymore. Um, if you guys would like to see a video of me and my experience working there at Wells Fargo, please give it a like and let me know if you guys wanna see my experience, of course. Since I'm not gonna be working at Wells Fargo anymore, I am therefore unemployed. Yeah, unemployed, but don't think of it as something bad. Think of it as something better because I got accepted to the UF and <laughs> I'll be studying something I like. Thank you guys for coming on this adventure with me. This is just the first adventure of many adventures I will have here at Alvaro X9.